A failure to understand proof of work is a failure to understand Bitcoin. Decentralized systems, by definition, do not have a single source of truth. Satoshi's breakthrough was to build a decentralized system that allowed all participants to agree upon the same truth. Proof of work is what allows this to happen. The point of proof of work is to create an irrefutable history. In the case of Bitcoin, this would be its ledger of transactions. If two histories compete, the chain with the most work is the truth. This decentralized agreement is what we call the Nakamoto consensus. Why does this work? In short, because work requires energy. You can't cheat it. You can't argue with it. You can't lie about it. The proof that you did the work is undeniable in the outcome of the work. In Bitcoin, work is computation. Not any kind of computation, but computation that has no shortcut. Guessing. If you use a computer to calculate a specific problem, it will compute the answer instantly. If you use a computer to guess a number between 1 and 10 trillion, it will work much longer to find the solution. A proof-of-work network recreates this on a global scale. There are no shortcuts because finding the solution is based on luck, not progress. The beautiful thing is that the network embeds itself in the solution. The data speaks for itself. There is no external source of truth required. The probabilistic nature of guessing allows the network to agree that the solution required work. Other mechanisms, such as proof-of-stake, don't have this property. You can never be sure that the work you are looking at is the truth. Participants with the most stake in such networks govern it. There is no external cost to create an alternative truth. Computation is the only bridge between the realm of information to the physical realm. Transferring information requires computation. Computation requires energy. Energy is the bridge between the physical world and the digital world. Remove this bridge to the physical world and you will stay in fantasy land. You can't tell what happened. You will have to trust others to tell you what happened. You can't verify it yourself. You have to rely on trust. Proof of stake has plenty of other problems, such as fair validator selection. Systems that reward based on stake favor the wealthiest participants in the network. The nodes with more stake receive the rewards, and in return, their stake in the network grows. Feedback loops based on these incentives result in naturally centralizing effects. Proof of stake also has no natural resistance to timestamp manipulation attacks. Proof of work solves these exact problems. It decentralizes the selection process, creates physical proof of what happened, has real externalized costs, and decentralizes time. In a proof of work system, energy must be expended constantly by miners to maintain any power over the system. In a proof-of-stake system, there is no ongoing cost to being a significant stakeholder. Once a participant has a large stake, they will always maintain power over the system. Our current financial system operates similarly to a proof-of-stake system. People with the most stake or influence in our society are the ones who govern it. The question of proof of work being wasteful or not is a controversial topic. However, the answer to this debate becomes clear after understanding the problem proof of work solves. No other system incentivizes a network to agree upon a global, single truth in a trustless manner. Thus, the question becomes, how valuable is trustless digital sound money? Is it worth the energy expenditure? For fridges, cars, smartphones and many other things, society answers this question in the affirmative. For Bitcoin, those who understand the benefits of sound and censorship-resistant money answer in the affirmative. To summarize, proof of work is not only useful but essential. Trustless digital money can't work without it. You always need an anchor to the physical realm. Without this anchor, a truthful history that is self-evident is impossible. Energy is the only anchor we have. Proof of work trusts physics to determine what happened. Proof of stake trusts humans to determine what happened. This video stemmed from a Twitter thread by Gigi. You can find links to his work in the description.